So, what do we mean by an upset, and why is it important to us? Firstly, an upset can be any condition of the aeroplane which is different to what was commanded or expected at any given time. While specific values may vary among models of aeroplane, the following unintentional conditions generally describe an aircraft upset. Pitch attitude greater than 25 degrees nose up. A pitch attitude greater than 10 degrees nose down. Or an angle of bank greater than 45 degrees. However, you could be within the above parameters, but at an airspeed which is inappropriate to the conditions. It should be emphasised though that a recovery should be initiated as soon as a developing upset is identified, and the amount and rate of control input which is required to counter a developing upset should be proportional to the amount and rate of pitch, roll and or yaw experienced. This preventative action may prevent what may have become a more serious event. This course will focus on both the preventative awareness of and how to avoid the fully developed upset as well as a recovery technique for the fully developed condition. So why do we train for this? The commercial aviation industry has not specifically tracked the upsets that meet the definition of this course. Therefore, available safety data does not quite paint the full picture to the extent of the importance of this area to achieving safer flight. However, the data that is available demonstrates quite clearly that the loss of control in flight is a problem which deserves attention. Boeing statistics for worldwide commercial jet fleet fatalities classified by type of event between the period 1994 and 2003 show that loss of control in flight was the single biggest killer in aviation. It could also be said that uh, a couple of the other issues are things that we're going to cover on this trajectory. Wind shear and turbulence, the avoidance of these uh, phenomena are covered in this uh, trajectory and could be said to be part of the loss of control in flight statistics. Equally, some of the other factors here, such as some structural issues with the aeroplanes or uh, some of the unknown causes, are potentially linked to loss of control in flight. The Civil Aviation Authority of the UK identified seven greatest risks to uh, aviation. They identified loss of control in flight as their number one priority. Most significantly though, it should be identified that an aircraft upset could happen at any time. It could happen to you on your next flight. By being part of this program now, you're leading the curve and taking your fate into your own hands, enhancing the likelihood of your survival and that of your passengers and crew. So, why is it that these incidents occur with professional trained and conscientious crew members at the controls and how can the conditions arise for an upset to occur? In order for us to understand these uh, upsets, their causes, prevention and recovery, let's first look at the very first principles 